Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Skin Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we will be discussing antibiotics. So the topic for today's discussion is antibiotic and I'm planning to make a series of videos on antibiotics because there are n number of antibiotics and we want to understand the function of each antibiotic. We know uh, that these are highly effective against uh, bacteria and they are not active against other organisms like viruses or fungi. For uh, fungus, we call uh, antifungal agents. For virus, we call antiviral agents. So antibiotics are specifically uh, used against the anti antibacterial agents. Uh, although the term is uh, really broad, we will discuss that. Uh, we will also discuss how you can uh, identify the activity of the antimicrobial agent, how we can quantify the activity of the antimicrobial agents. We will also discuss some of the important points regarding antimicrobial chemotherapy, uh, how they were discussed um, in, in context of uh, antibiotics and also uh, what we understand by the term antibiotic in general. So I hope the video will be helpful for you to understand the action of antibiotics, what are antibiotics and how we characterize them. And uh, I'll also bring more videos on the same topic, but we'll discuss uh, all these antibiotics specifically in, uh, in separate videos. So please stay tuned and watch all the videos. All right, with that note, let's start the video lecture. All right, uh, let's start the video with the, the topic of uh, today's lecture, which is antibiotics. Antibiotics are the antimicrobial substances that can kill or inhibit the action of uh, uh, or the growth of the microorganisms, specifically bacteria. So I'm going to write antimicrobial substance instead of antibiotics here. Antibiotics uh, or the antimicrobial substance are the chemical compound that can kill or inhibit the growth of microorganisms, uh, specifically bacteria. So in bracket, I can write bacteria plus they are the chemical compound, right? That's what I said. So these are small molecules. They are not the polymer kind of compound, they are small molecules. So these are chemicals that can uh, kill the or the inhibit the growth of the bacteria. So when we grow the bacteria on petri plates, the growth, if, if, if the growth on the petri plate is uniform, so you can see it will make a lawn uh, of the bacteria. So you will have a plate where you have a bacterial lawn. If you place the disc of the antibiotic on the center, what you will see uh, will be the effect of the antibiotic. So after the overnight growth, after the overnight growth, the antibiotic uh, that is present in the disc will be diffused out and it will show, uh, you know, a clear zone around the disc. So one thing, let me, let me also tell you one thing that I'm also uh, present somewhere in the crowded space. So if you, if you have a background noise, so please ignore that. Anyway, so you can see if you have a growth, the circular zone of inhibition will be visible because the antibiotic will diffuse out uh, from the central disc. So this is something which we call as the zone of inhibition or it's also known as zone of killing. So this can be quantified. You can measure the zone. This can be uh, visualized. So qualitative analysis can be done on that, how the bacteria is growing. And you can also pick the organisms in that zone and see how many organisms they are surviving in this one, right? Uh, so the next point is antibiotics, they are produced by other organisms because uh, once they are produced by other organisms, they can diffuse out in the medium and kill and competitively inhibit the growth of other organisms. Second point is they are safe for human consumption because many of the chem chemical compounds, mm, many of the antibiotics, they they have a specific target in the bacteria. And so basically they are safe to, uh, to humans. We can eat them. They'll have few side effects if, if you uh, if you're trying to consume the antibiotics in higher concentration, but not that serious side effects. Uh, another point is they are not active against viruses. So although they are known as antibiotic means uh, against living organisms or against the biotic life. Uh, the term is not antibacterial, I'm using specifically. Uh, but they are not act active against fungus. They are not active against viruses. So uh, they will not uh, be active in the common cold or the viral flu conditions. 
Next, antibiotics. So that is what I was trying to tell you that the common term that was used for, for these chemical compounds is anti plus biotic. Means anti means against, uh, biotic means life. So life could be fungus, like life could be some other organisms, but usually they are uh, more targeted against the um, bacteria. So next, many antibiotics. They are also anti-protozoa. So you'll find in the literature that many antibiotics, they are also active against protozoans. Next, antimicrobial chemotherapy. This is another important term that we often use in the antibiotic literature, antimicrobial chemotherapy. Antimicrobial chemotherapy is not just the antibiotic. It can include other uh, agents also. So it will have antibiotics, yes. Plus, it will also have antiseptics, anti. Uh, you know, there are detergents, there are chemical compounds, they can be antimicrobial in nature. So they, they all are included in the term antimicrobial chemotherapy. So this is important. And uh, we also know that Alexander Fleming was the one who discovered the antibiotics. So these are some of the important terms and we need to remember and need to understand how antibiotics they are tested, how antibiotics they, they show activity against other organisms and uh, why they are important. Right, so I hope the video was helpful for you to understand the action of antibiotics, what are antibiotics and I'll bring more videos uh, that definitely are going to help you in your studies to understand the antibiotics in more detail. So I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, take care.